you just keep doing that, you're dancing to the beat. Am I good? What are we dancing to? Puff Packer face, my Puff Packer <laughs> face. <laughs> that's a good one. I've not heard that one before. This is the Super Bowl. Oh, that's a good one. There you go. Very good. Very good. You know, you go to the grocery store and you go to the meat case, and once in a while, and you see a whole bunch of smoked meat products. Mm -hmm. uh, hocks, turkey drumsticks, chicken, pork chops, wings like this of turkey that have been smoked. And you bring them home and you really don't know what to do with them. I wouldn't see, I would refrain from buying it because I'd be like, I have no idea what to do with that. So don't we'll, refrain, whatever you do. do now not I will refrain. not refrain because okay. you're going to show ahead. me. Well, what we're going to do is slowly heat it up. You can heat them up in the oven. You can wrap them in foil and heat them in the oven. You can do them in the oven on a real low heat. You can nuke them if you want to. We're going to put ours on the grill for about 30 minutes, but with no heat underneath it. The heat source is over this way. And just warm them up and soften them up. Mm -hmm. And then, I, oops, there's one more left. <laughs> that was an odd turkey. I've never seen a three wing turkey before. <laughs> and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some wonderful, uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of our, our teriyaki. Uh, we're gonna be up at Kepsel's Farm Market. They have a great festival coming up this next weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, their fall fest. So we're gonna be at Kepsel's on Friday from 10 until two. And then we're gonna be at uh, Door Peninsula Winery doing some Fat Louis oils and wines and stuff. We'll be there on Sunday. Uh, same time period? Yep, yep. About 10 to 2 yep, or so. Mm -hmm. time so I'm going to mix yep. together a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We're going to make a sweet and sour. The good folks at Pesh to Go have Wagner's uh, maple syrup. Ah. So we're going to do a little maple syrup. I'm going to do a sweet and sour mixture, and we'll talk about that next time. I want to okay. let Meryl get together. Good deal. I yeah. want to be kosher about this. Ah, Very yes, kosher. Everything is all kosher. There are a lot of people want to know about on steaks, and I do like steaks. I happen to have Chuck Eye steaks here. But as you can tell, I've used kosher salt. I've covered these with kosher salt. What that's going to do, that's going to pull all the moisture out of the steaks, mm -hmm. okay? And then what I'm going to do, I actually do this about 60 to 90 minutes. You can start to, you can start to see where it's starting to start to pull the moisture off. But then I'm going to rinse the steaks completely. Okay. And then I'll pat them dry again. Then probably rub them with just a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of uh, probably Grandma Hazel seasoning to grill up the steaks. Then the way that I also like of doing uh, baked potatoes, very simple, is I like using a little bit of pepper on there. Mm -hmm. I've already went ahead and rubbed these with a little bit of olive oil on that. A little bit of Grandma Hazel's there again of seasoning in there. And of course there again, some more kosher salt on that. Okay. Wrap those up and they're going to bake those for about 40, 45 minutes. And we'll have steak and potatoes oh. at the end of the show. Oh. So when you say you're drying the moisture out, yes. what do you, like why would you want to Because you that? want to go ahead and pull all the moisture out of there on there because you'll get a more flavorful steak okay. that way. And then I'm definitely going to, in about another 20 minutes, I will rinse all the salt and everything completely off of I that. I get it. And then pat dry. Very cool. I'm so excited to try all this. Very, I am excited too. I'll go yeah. get Pat. I'll go get Pat so we can dry them. Okay, you got it. Pat? <laughs> pat, are you here? Pat, okay. dry. Pat, I'll do. I'll do. I'll do. I'll do. I'll do. I'll Make sure to watch uh, Mad Dog and Merrill's uh, grilling show too on the CW14 this morning. We'll be right back.